Colorado and Washington are preparing for the legalization of recreational marijuana. Obviously, they've already done so uh, through uh, ballot initiatives uh, during the last election. And January 1st, people can smoke the doobie in public and they don't have to worry about any drama, okay? Yeah. No cops are going to come after them so they can get high. <laughs> now, <laughs> before, before all of that happens, though... Does it have to be a Friday? <laughs> I ain't got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is exciting news, obviously. We're in favor of it. We think legalization is the right way to go. Um, but there is big business behind this. And just to give you a little sense of that, uh, Colorado has already issued 348 marijuana licenses. Washington, the state of Washington, has received about 3,700 requests for these licenses. And in Colorado, of course, people go there for ski trips. So uh, a few different companies are thinking about doing marijuana tours or having people come to ski and smoke some pot. So according to uh, one person, over the last month, I've received somewhere between four to six emails a day and five to 10 phone calls a day asking about the law and when should people uh, plan their ski trips to go along with the cannabis. So look, you know, we've argued that, that marijuana is not as bad as alcohol, for example, in, yeah. in how much you get intoxicated. Like you're, you shouldn't drive under either condition, but you know, you're more likely to drive at five miles an hour if you're high rather than you know, uh, 100 miles an hour if you're drunk, right? Uh, but I wouldn't suggest skiing and, and getting high. I think that's a pretty dumb combo. Well, they might they might have like a long day of skin, you know, like they they exert a lot of energy. They might get a little sore, and then later they go back to the cabin. That's and okay. Then they, I understand and then they that. Like relax, you but, don't get in the hot tub. I got you. I know it's Friday. I know. I know. I don't know why I'm being okay. so silly right now. But, may, <laughs> no. Have you already gone to Colorado? <laughs> no, I have not. Okay. So, uh, but I'm telling you, like I've covered way too many stories where guys ski into a tree and and hurt themselves know, really I badly. Way Don't to be do it while you're high. Yeah. Right? I know, I know. So look, <laughs> it, pot tourism. I mean, God bless. So the pot, have at it, Hoss. The pot tourism might be so big that there might be a little bit of a supply issue. Okay, which I think is incredible. So the market is huge. Uh, from 1.4 billion in medical marijuana in 2013, it'll grow to about 64% to 2.34 billion in 2014. So that's, that's a, a huge number. But also take this into consideration. There are so many um, people that are interested in traveling to these states just to smoke marijuana that some people are worried. Uh, one person says, it looks like demand will exceed supply, so I anticipate the prices in Colorado to go up. But as time goes on, more businesses will open, meaning there will be more supply. Yeah, that's called a free market, baby. Jeez. Okay, I'm sure the GOP is going to be in favor, right? And they're going to be making some money. So uh, it's then, a win-win for everybody. And then there'll be this great marijuana crop, right? Um, it'll be a genetically mod modified marijuana crop. And we'll <laughs> spray it with a bunch of pesticides. <laughs> and it'll be totally safe to smoke. <laughs> Smoking pesticides is awesome. <laughs> All right, well, when, uh, when the corporations get a load of pot, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but for now, it's still a mom and pop business, right? Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see the Walmart of, of pot. Uh, but uh, so, hey, listen, man, if they got to make more pot, uh, it's going to help the local economy. And by the way, the guys getting rich off of it aren't going to be ruthless gang leaders who That's will cut true. your head off. That's the real upside of what Colorado and Washington have done. And I told you, the minute they passed it, right? You know, sometimes I'll agree with conservatives in an ironic kind of way. I agree with Bill O'Reilly, there's a culture war, and sad day for him, we're winning. Mm -hmm. He's right about that, right? He's not right about the war on Christmas. But overall, yes, gay people are accepted more. Sorry, okay? You were wrong, we were right, we won, right? And we're in the middle of winning. Same thing with the pot uh, situation, the war on drugs. And when the conservatives said, oh, well, if marijuana is legalized in these states, people are going to rush in. I said, yeah, they will. You're right. And that's awesome. Okay? Because it'll show how stupid the war on drugs is in all other states. And then when people rush into Colorado, it's not like all of a sudden there'll be zombies walking around like, oh, thank God, oh. It'll be perfectly fine as it is in Portugal, as it is in so many other places that have either decriminalized or legalized. So it's a good day in America, man. Uh, you want to make a nice trip to the, uh, to the Rockies? You know, that's a Rocky Mountain High right there for you. Had to. Had to.